Hey everybody, welcome back to Team Brothership. It's me, Mike. Uh, just me today, and we're starting our new Let's Play. I was, um, I was thinking about starting something differently, but the likelihood of this going up right at the very end of September, um, we'll do another Castlevania Let's Play. I was actually kind of sad that I, I missed one last year, just scheduling-wise and trying to coordinate. I was trying to do one with John, and it didn't really work out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do one solo again this year. It feels a little weird, to be honest, doing a Let's Play <laughs> by myself after doing the Shining Force one with Mark for so long and after doing a bunch of episodes of talking about retro games with Brian. But, um, yeah, I mean, I know what I'm doing. I've done enough of these stupid things. <laughs> so, yes, we are playing... I think that scene's going to play out when I start the game anyways. We are playing Castlevania Aria of Sorrow as part of the, um, what's it called, the Castlevania Advance Collection that they released recently. Um, as, I've, as I've talked before, Symphony of the Night is one of my favorite Castlevania games, and um, is it going to make me use the, I guess there's nothing to copy. Um, Let's see if my full name will fit. Japanese is a very condensed language. They they have a lot of letters, and as such, they don't need many for individual words. So a lot. Of, okay, it is going to play. A lot of times, you don't need a lot of space for name entry if you're using Japanese characters. Uh, anyway, so for those of you who don't know, Aria of Sorrow. Well, Dawn of Sorrow is the most recent one, but Aria of Sorrow is part of the duology, I don't like that word, dyad, um, of the most recent in the timeline Castlevania games. They take place in 2035. Uh, they star Soma Cruz, who looks kind of like a fashion model, which I know, you know, all the Castlevania protagonists of recent vintage have kind of looked like pretty boys. They're, they're no burly, leather-clad Simon Belmont, that's for sure, but um, Soma is definitely the most <laughs> elegant of them all. Um, well, we'll just watch the story play out. I, I have a, a pretty deep affection for most of the Game Boy Advance and DS games. They're a little more story heavy than some of the others. So there's our hero. Um, as much as I love the Game Boy Advance games, their graphics do look a little washed out when shown on a big TV. I'm playing this on the Switch, by the way. Uh, in case anyone was curious, you can get this on pretty much everything. <laughs> Mystery Man. Genya Arikado. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> wow. He's not happy. God. Yeah, the, the story gets a little funky. <laughs> Hopefully you can read you can all read what's going on. Watching it on my TV, it's it's a little difficult to see some of the text because it's a little fuzzy. Uh oh, Sweet Jeebus, it's monsters. <laughs> Uh-oh. Something came out of that guy and it went into me. That sounds bad. Yeah, Soma Cruz definitely sounds like the name of a, a fashion model, or maybe even a fashion model uh, combatant in, like, a fighting game, not like a Castlevania protagonist. You get it out. Get it out. Why, indeed.
very dramatic fellow. Can we... Yeah, we can still talk to her. So she'll be safe as long as we leave her out here. What? Oh, God. All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> Let me pause this while I sort out the controls, because that... Ugh, no, I don't want to... That button for the map is a no-go. All right, give me a minute. All right, well, that was a little bit of a funny thing, and I'm sure I'm going to trip over the menu buttons because they've oriented things a little awkwardly, but um, let us look at our equipment. Well, we've got a cheap pocket knife and this giant fur, clo clo uh, giant fur coat, which is defined as casual clothes. I know I tend to wear, like, super long... Uh, you know, white jackets with enormous fur collars when I'm just being cash. We've got no items. We're level one. We're just... we're just trash. Uh, but we can equip this sweet winged skeleton uh, soul so we can... for 12 MP we can huck a spear. All right, all right, calm down there, Genya. So, off we go. Classic Castlevania corridor. I bet there's gonna be, oh, look at this, they're everywhere. It is a new zombie sprite, though. They didn't just reuse the stuff from uh, the older Castlevanias. Oh, and we got a zombie soul. Becomes stronger when poisoned. Well, we probably don't wanna really use that one. Uh, too high. So, I definitely don't have this game nearly as whoa, as well memorized. We gotta get a better weapon, too, because this thing sucks. I don't have this game nearly as well memorized as I do uh, Symphony of the Night, which I could probably play in my sleep. Um, I, I remember <laughs> there's a story I told one time where um, I, I'm, I, I really don't care for alcohol. I, I very rarely drink alcohol. Um, but I was hanging out with friends one night and I had a few drinks. There we go. Alright, let's equip this. Yes, that will be much better. Um, I had a few drinks and then I... Whoa, hi there. Um, this looks a lot like the opening of Symphony of the Night, actually. Uh, but yeah, I, I went home and I did some, oops, whoa, hey, that guy took quite a bit, Tiny Devil, it's my favorite Elton John song, um, whoa, he, I have no downwards, wow, that guy, whoa, alright, that guy did some damage, um, Sorry, I keep sidetracking myself. Yeah, I, I had a number of drinks with some friends and uh, came home and I was going to do some laundry and while I was doing laundry, I... I think... I don't think he's weak to... Yeah, alright, he's not a vampire, unlike Alucard, so he's not going to get hurt in water. Whoa, hey, there was that spear. Uh, I don't want that to touch me, though. That will hurt quite a bit. Um, but yeah, while I was doing laundry, I decided to play Symphony of the Night. Um, and when I eventually stopped and went to bed, because I was feeling a little um, buzzed, I got up the next day to like, and just was like, oh, I'll keep playing that save. And I thought I had, yeah, it's a dead end. Tasty meat. Um, I thought I had only gotten through like the first, like, little section of the game, but I <laughs> had gotten, like, most of the way uh, through the first castle in Symphony, just being really uh, pretty, we'll say pretty buzzed, but probably more than that, uh, and I just had, even under the influence, I was, had enough of a memory of the game and um, that I could just blaze my way through. Um... He's going to shoot little fireballs at us, I bet, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, that's all to say, I do not <laughs> have as much of a memory of this game, but 
Um, it, it's not a particularly difficult one, I'm sure. Oh, that's important. All right, yeah, let's equip some of our, our souls. Oops. Oh, right, the green ones are like ability souls where they're just always equipped. Most of them, you've got the red kind of action souls. Um, and every monster will drop a soul too. So like if I was playing this fresh, I might actually sit here and just kill Fishman for a while to try to get the, um, the Fishman soul. Uh, and there are a few that I will want to grind for because they're, they're really good. Um, which, yeah, like it's cool that kind of all of the abilities are tied into monsters. And, all right, that's enough of that. Um, you know, instead of having like your relics and your uh, sub weapons and everything in this game, you, you just have the soul. Oh, look at that. Um, you just have the souls. What do we got? Yeah, yeah, that's probably a little better than the, the pendant. Um, and every monster drops a soul. You know, usually it's pretty clearly indicated. Well, like, you know, woo. Like the skeletons all drop bone throwing souls, you know, or you get some something that's kind of indicative of their abilities. I really I want to turn off this thing. The axe knights throw axes. They or they throw the axe soul, um, which I should I should probably grind for that. Oh, and there's our first boss. Uh, but I think there's a save point up here. Whoa. I don't remember the first boss being very difficult, but... Whoa, hi. Uh, oh, my, oh, there's my spear again. Alright, well, we'll just hope we don't get totally massacred. I don't think this guy's very tough. He's gonna shoot a fireball at us. He's probably gonna... No problem. I don't even remember that guy. Nice. Um, he didn't drop a soul, though. Hey, and a map. What do we got? Oh, look at that thing. 4% done already. Just flying along. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let me just make sure I... Because the Game Boy Advance, yeah, all right. Because the Game Boy Advance had so few buttons, um, everybody's kind of pulling double or triple duty. Oh, this guy has a really good soul, if I'm remembering. I think he lets you see um, like secrets. That's why he's right there, because you can get the secret. And I think that's just a basic. Po oh, mind up. Hmm. Yeah, the the peeping eye drops the soul that lets you see secrets, which is. Pretty convenient, especially this early in the game. Arr, get over here, you. Sword's still not very long. Yeah, it, playing normally, it's... Uh, I'm not going to say a good idea, but it's not a bad idea to grind for some of the better souls early on. But I'm, I'm not going to do that now. Or, well, I might do it... Whoa, fishies. Ah, I might do it off-air. Nice, what's that? Okay, uh, that was a blue one, so I think we can equip that. I think we can, yeah. So, I think that little guy, there's like a little guy that will like, yeah. I think that's the only one of those little fish, too. This was kind of the, um, of the non-Symphony games, I would say this this and its sequel, um, Dawn of Sorrow, which maybe we'll do that next year for Halloween. They, um, I think that's one of the souls that I need, too. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that next Halloween. Um, they're probably the two that are closest in spirit to Symphony. Um, 
and they're of the non-symphony ones. They're my well, I, okay. Now, when I say non-symphony ones, I mean the non-symphony like, um, you know, open world kind of ones. Now, I'm not talking about like, uh, whoa, God. <laughs> well, that was surprising. I'm not talking about like Rondo or Super Castlevania 4 or any of that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I need this. That's it. How do I activate that guy? Is it... There we go. Okay. <laughs> so he drains a little bit of MP. Whoa. Okay. This guy's fun with that kind of weapon. There we go. Yeah, I know what it is. I, I wish I could get rid of these little messages on the right. I miss my axe. I'm going to grind the Axe Knight later. And get his soul. Um, it's a zombie with a knife! Look out! Ooh! Hand <laughs> grenades, you say? I like everything about that. Um, I bet those use up a lot of uh, MP, though. In... That's a good weapon, or armor set. Yeah, nice big defense boost. Um, in Dawn of Sorrow, the more you can like power up the souls, like the more you get of a specific enemy's soul, the stronger it'll get. Because definitely, like um, in Later on in this game, a lot of the early game souls will be pretty worthless because they'll just, like, they just won't have anything left to offer. Um, but, which way do I want to go? All right, let's go up. Um, but in, in Dawn of Sorrow, you can, like, grind for multiple versions of souls and they'll power up with each consecutive one that you get. So you can beef up. If you ha find one that you really like, you can beef it up by just getting a few more of them. And they tend to drop a little more often. As you'll see, you know, there's not... Ow. Um, there's not a... We haven't gotten a ton so far. Actually, let's see what that... No, it doesn't use way more than the spear. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll throw grenades for a while. We'll see what that is. I have a feeling those are... Ooh, that looks nice, but we can't get that yet, clearly. Um, those potions will be helpful, too. I don't think we can glide over there. Yeah, it's too far still. Need a double jump. But yeah, in general, I think the MP system with the souls works a little bit better than um, some of the previous systems. Like, it's... it's ooh, hey. Hitboxes are a little funny. Can I... Alright, ne next episode I'll see if I can turn off those... Those... Those things. Oops. There's a grenade. Whoa, don't get set on fire. This is probably not really worth all this time or effort. We got a level up out of it, though. Scarf. Let's see what that does. Oh, it is warm and cozy. That sounds nice. Heading into the fall. Um... further this way. Come on, drop that axle. Yeah, I definitely want to turn off those annoying messages on the right, though. That's something for the collection. I wonder if it's because they think people can't see the damage numbers or something? I don't know. Like I said, I've played this game a few times before, and it was always on a Game Boy. Well, it was probably on a DS. Um, playing, using the 
Game Boy Advance slot. No Axel. Come on. Don't be like this. Um, I don't think this will take us super long to beat. Um, I mean, it probably will take us through Halloween, because these games are longer these days. Most of them, most of the, the GBA and DS games were longer than Symphony Z coming in. That eyeball's always there in every Castlevania game. I'd like to get him, too, because... throwing a grenade. Woo! That one's coming in. I do want that peeping eye soul. Don't throw at me. Hey, hey. How do you look? Oh. Wait. Why can't I throw the grenade now? Yeah, what do you think? Spear is probably more useful, to be honest. If somebody's on the ground, though, this is a, a good... Give them a good walloping. Ah, there we go. Identify breakable walls. All right. That is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be equipped for at least the next little while. That will be very, very helpful. You know, finding a few of those secrets early on can really improve your your overall game. Ah, he just walked right into me like a jerk. I guess those little messages are to show if you've gotten their soul yet, which is kind of convenient, but, well, sort of helpful, but they are right in the way. Especially with the zombies popping out of the floor, like their, their name is already covering them up as they're coming up. Safe point? No. Let's go up here for a second. No, I guess that's <laughs> not going that way. No, there's. Whoa! Hey, dude. I think those guys give you a little familiar. Um, yeah, the familiar system is also. Ooh. Ow. That's silly. There we go. That was moderately useful. Ah, oh, that would be really good. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, perfect. Save point. No, I wanna... Thank you. it worth it's nice that they let you they kind of identify the when you're going into oh all right cutscene who's this a dapper gentleman <laughs> poor soma Oh, so yeah, I, I don't know if that was clear from the original opening cutscene. So he was going, he's a Japanese student, and he was going to visit his friend, who is the shrine maiden, whose family owns a, a local shrine. And somehow that wound up with them getting sucked into the solar eclipse, uh, where Dracula's castle is located for some reason. <laughs> Getting some background. <laughs> Good answer, Selma. Good answer. Boo Irons. Oh no. He missed uh he missed 
New Year's Eve 2000. That was a lot of fun. No. There you go. So for some reason they managed to seal, or somehow I should say, they managed to seal his castle inside of the solar eclipse. He was helpful, and not at all sinister. I'm sure that'll be fine. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go back here, make sure. Um, for the most part, the early chunk of this game, like Symphony, is pretty linear. So we can kind of just follow where, where fate leads us. Um, and we'll... Hey, cool. quit throwing things. Or spitting, I should say. It's a dirty habit. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be able to get these fish soon enough. Show them who's boss. Oh, that's useful. No fake walls yet. Come on, peeping eye, do your job. We also need some better weapons. I think we're... Well... This game's a little bit different, too, in that uh, eventually the castle gate kind of becomes something of a little hub world where we can... Ooh, gross. Dropped rotten meat. Um, so enemies can still drop. It's not just their souls. They can drop items still. Uh, and both of those are important. Still want to make sure we get our good gear and things, but if I if I decide to do any grinding for items, I'll do that off off air, um, and I will also make sure to get a bunch of like luck boosting gear <laughs> before I do that. Um, so even though this was on the Game Boy Advance, which is if, you know a fairly limited piece of hardware, um, the graphics are pretty good. Like Soma has a good run cycle, you can see. Um, you know, they're, they've got a little bit of that GBA washed out look to them that a lot of uh, second gen GBA games look. It, it's funny, you know, um, a lot of early GBA. Whoa, hi. You're kind of large. Not very threatening, though. Oh, I can land on those. Look at that. Oh, that was dumb. Um, a lot of early. Let's see. How do I want to do this? All right, let's go. Let's go back in here for a minute. A lot of early G GBA games actually looked pretty nice, um, but they were kind of on the darker side. Um, that was before the whole like, oh, the the original GBA is is too dark. Um, we got to lighten up all of our games so that people can actually see things, uh, which fair <laughs> being able to see what you're doing is, uh, fairly important in a video game. Um, but the, but then eventually when techniques came about, you know, when things could be brighter, um, then stuff ended up looking kind of washed out. Wow, that thing was really sturdy. Let's go over here. Um, so then, not that way. Um, then, you know, so later games then ended up looking like not as great. So, the colors are a little washed out in this one. Can I land on the... No, I can't land on the bell like I used to be able to. That would be too cool. You know, he dropped something, but it wasn't what I particularly needed. Um, so, yeah, but even still, even with the slightly washed out, I think I can land on... Yes, good. 
even with the slightly washed out graphics, um, this still is a pretty nice looking game. Whoa. Actually, let's, let's throw some of these. There we go. Used up a bit of MP, but not the worst way. Whoops. I think those are like, better potions. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, well, but we can't get up there yet. We need the double jump. I forget who it was. Maybe it was Nadia Oxford, but I remember somebody wrote, like, the, the best part of... Oh, we can't get this one, though the best part of any of these like Metroid style games is always when ah, I thought I timed that right is always when you get the double jump it's because it just like opens up everything and it's just this really revelatory experience uh, let's see whoa hi that's quite a drop I thought that was supposed to make me fall slower doesn't seem to really be doing much. Alright, well, we'll go this way then. Oh, Ghost Soul! That's cool. So yeah, he'll be like a little familiar, but I think that will constantly drain... Ah. Constantly drain MP while it's out. Um, and that does remind me, the Tiny Devil does not, as I had thought, um, summon a familiar... He... Come on. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, it'll just shoot one of those little, little energy blasts. I remember that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those things aren't that scary. Um... We can get the angle right. <laughs> yeah, they're like the kind of um, like Indian goddess with the six arms or what have you. There we go. Ooh, rapier. Let's see. Oh, what are you? Oh, yes. Sword made for stabbing. Slightly different attack animation, but we'll. Should be fine. Come on. Drop that soul, you. Oh, I have a grumpy kitty in the corner. He's going to start demanding attention soon. About halfway through this episode. Anyway, um, where am I going down? So I, I think there's definitely a lot of, de come on, a lot of debate over um, which of the GBA games are is the best and which is the worst, and people have a lot of opinions about things. Um, in general, I think they're all pretty good. Like, it's... You can debate over... Get over here, you. I didn't like that. Um, you know, you can certainly debate over which is best, but I would say they are all of reasonably good quality. Um, the only one... And, and I should say, not just the DS. Like, the GBA games also are, are pretty good. Um... Not, sorry, I said that backwards. Uh, not just the GBA, but the DS games are also pretty good. Um, I didn't really like Order of Ecclesia, which I, I think is sort of the heretical <laughs> position, because I know a lot of people really like that. And it is probably the best looking of them all. How do I get down there? Uh, uh, I must have to go in from the other side. That's fine. We'll get over there eventually. Um, I just think that game doesn't really work for a number of reasons. Oh, save point, great. Um, 
but we're not playing that game. We're playing this one, which I think works great. Um, in general, I guess he flew off the map to places unknown. Um, in general, I think the its sequel, Dawn of Sorrow, is a little bit better. Um, I know that was a very, very early... Oops. That was a very, very early DS game. And as such, um, has a bit of, like... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Don't touch that. Um, wow, I didn't think that thing... Oh, boss fight. Mm. Guy hit me a few times. What do we got here? Oh. Christ. No, I do not want to get stung by the manticore. Ah, Alright, I need to get out of here. Can I kill this thing? I cannot. But I can get around here. There we go. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that was a little sloppy. <laughs> Not much to that guy, but uh, I certainly made it an unintentional squeaker. Let's see. Can go up here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's how we get back in here. How convenient. Oh, and look at that. Our peeping eye. Oh, although, damn it, I'm not going to be able to... Can I swing up there? Actually, you know what? Uh, let's see. I think because I... The spear... I think because the spear goes in an arc. Mm, come on. Ah, come on. There we go. All right, we gotta figure it out. Oops, well, don't don't do that. Yay, a thousand buckaroos. That peeping eye paid off. Uh, back to my grenades. Oops. Out of the way. I don't have time for you. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Calm down. Everybody, relax. What's a coddle? There we go. Jeez. Okay. Uh, apparently this room was booked afterwards. Oh boy, our old friend the Flea Man. So I don't need to keep wasting grenades on those. Get back. Um... shooting at us too, isn't he? Oh, come on. Just get hit with my sword. Ooh. Ah, oh, that guy had more oomph in him than I thought. He's a zombie. What kind of a fight should he be putting up? Uh, oh, whatever. Get out of here. Stupid little imps. The... Study. You can't tell me what to do, Mom. Um, save point? No, of course not. Yeah, this very clearly is kind of modeled after Symphony of the Night. Ah, even more so than some of the others. You can see we're we're in the library now. Well, I guess sort of a library. Power mix. Jeez. 
Jeez. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way for a second. I'll watch my health a little bit. I tend to because I've played so many of these. No, oh, well, never mind then. Back to this room to fight the people we just killed. It's throwing cats at me. You shouldn't do that with cats. Oh, no, oh, mind up. Oh, a bastard sword, you say. Hopefully that has a little bit... There we go. Now we're talking. That has some oomph to it. Maybe I should switch back to the spears. I like the grenades, but... Oh, yeah. That pack's a real punch. Why is that doing so much more? They must... I think piercing and slashing in this game are kind of two different types of damage. They must be... Um, they must be... Oh, boy. Ooh. They must be more susceptible to slashing damage than piercing damage. I think that guy drops the... Ah! I'm gonna have to actually use an item. Oh, cripes. I think, um... That guy drops the knife soul. Venturing into unseen territory. Can I push this? No, we definitely need this for something. Maybe to get up there? That still looks pretty far. And maybe if I had the double jump. Well, let's try pushing it down. Maybe there's someplace exciting we can go below. I cannot. Sadness. Oh well. It was worth a try. Oh, flea man. Come on. friggin' things. Ugh. There we go. Um, I do have potions if I get desperate. What's that? And so far, these grenades are really uh, doing the trick. Ugh, yes, grenades. wanted to avoid having both of them coming at the same time. I don't think they deal a ton of damage, but I bet they inflict, uh, inflict some not fun status effects. They usually do in most of the... Oh, dropped it down the hole. What a waste. I thought he dropped an item for a minute. Come on, you get over here. Oops. Ugh. I thought he got me there for a minute. Not today, friendo. Ah, perfect. Alright, let's go over here first, though. Yeah. Free money. Um, There is a shop in this game, but I... Oh, really? That's it? Right, what does that do? Mm-mm-mm. 
just gives some hit points back. I'm going to try to avoid most of these guys on the way through. There we go. Oops. Come on. I think whatever they drop... I do not want to get turned to stone. There we go. There's a lot of grenades, but it's worth it. And we did miss going that way, which hopefully is not going to... Ah, perfect save point. Hopefully I am not going to regret that. But we'll find out. We'll find out down the line, won't we? Stop throwing cats at me, lady. Let's go down first. Unless, unless. And I'll go this way. We're making pretty good time through this game. It's not a crazily long game, but it, it's definitely longer than... Ugh. It's definitely longer than Symphony of the Night. That would be useful, but I can't go that way. Um, I think that little witch lady drops the ability to throw cats. Hi! <laughs> I like how every person that he meets, he's he's got a very like nervous introduction. Uh, who are you? I mean, you just killed a whole bunch of monsters. <laughs> well, she's letting the game slip right there. <laughs> Alucard, I mean, Genya Arakato. Yes, Genya Arakato is Alucard. Spoilers. That was nice of him. <laughs> that guy's a dick. I mean, yeah, he, he did... Uh, destroy his own family to save reality, so maybe try to be a little cool. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> this is my new favorite Castlevania exchange of all time. Yeah, I mean, if... So Soma's an okay guy, but if you weren't getting the vibe that what he's able to do is maybe a little bit problematic, uh, y you should. I mean, he's absorbing the power of fiends. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Giving him a little... Oh, yeah. He's cool. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, good old Castlevania dialogue. Time to go find and murder that guy. Alright, so Yoko... Did they give her last name? Belnades. She's... Ugh. Die already. No, I don't turn me to stone. There we go. Hey. Oh boy. Minotaur, don't hit me with that axe. There we go. Yeah, it's our old friend the Minotaur. I don't think he could get broken, but I guess not. I think they use the same sprite as before. It's over here. 100 bucks just sitting in the middle of the floor. Cool. I kind of want to get to the shop soon. I got a bunch of money now. Oh, boss over there. Oh, this is a thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I back step? There we go. Maybe there's a shortcut. 
Yeah, so then... <laughs> I, I hope you figured out how I was able to solve that puzzle. The mouth opened when you looked away, so you used the back step. Ah, the whip sword. This is actually kind of useful. It's a weird... It's a, kind of a weird weapon. It's slow, but it's got really good range. So I'll use that for a little while if I start to feel like it's too slow. Normally, um, speed is the more important thing. Oh, he's closing again. Speed is the... Hey, calm down, cats. Um, yeah, normally speed is more important, but range is also good. All right, where was the save point? A little ways back. All right, who are we dealing with now? All right, yeah, the whip sword is definitely the way to go here because we don't have to get too close to this guy. Don't get hit with the sword. He's gonna stab. And a slash. And a stab. And a slash. Yeah, whip sword was definitely the way to go with this guy. Just go down already, jeez. You figured out your nonsense. There we go. Not much of a challenge. Yeah, the the bosses in... Uh, well, there, there's some cool ones later. Oh, nice! <laughs> Child, he looks like a male model. Aww. It does make me a little sad that the characters referred to as Grandpa in Japanese games are typically even younger than I am at this point. He's pretty unfazed by it. <laughs> well, okay, you can't really do that, dude. All right, so yeah, here Hammer is revealing that he is the shop, um, but we have to go back to the entrance, which uh, there's like teleports and things. All right, what do we got here? Hopefully something. Oh, that was a double jump. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that was that early. It's a cool painting in the background. Um, maybe that's of Yoko's ancestor. Her name Yoko Belnades. Um, Belnades in... Right, where do we want to go? I guess back to the room with the box in it. Um, that, we can use the double jump to move around on the box now, so there's that. Um, Belnades is the name of the wizard character from... Ooh, okay, that slows us down a little bit, which is not ideal. But we can hit him further away, so... And it certainly helps with these guys. I don't have to waste all my grenades. Um, where did that come from? Those things are a lot less of a threat than they were in previous games. Ooh, nice. Fires enchanted arrows. Uh, maybe we'll switch to those. Let's see. Oh, save point definitely, though. Uh, I think down below is that room that we still need the slide to get into. But the double jump should open up a lot more areas for us. Although, actually, you know what? It's um, We've been going for about an hour, so we'll wrap up here. Um, We've got a shop that we can go back to. We've met, I think, pretty much all the NPCs of the game at this point. Uh, and we got the double jump, which should help us navigate quite a bit. So, yeah, covered a lot of territory today. Anyway, thanks for joining me. As always, I've been Mike with Team Brothership. And I hope you have a great week. I'll see you real soon, everybody.